here, excuse me. Okay, today we're working on time, but we're working on time passing, all right? So first of all, let's look at this as an example. If I said it was five o'clock, and I asked you what it's going to be 15 minutes from now, well, the easiest way to find that out would just be to add 15 minutes. But remember, you have to do it over the minutes section, okay? Not the hour. This is the hour. These are the minutes. So if I said add 15 minutes and then tell me what time it's going to be, we're just going to add 15 minutes. Make sure you line it up straight, okay? And then the time would be 5.15. Now, here's a more difficult example. Pretend it's 5.15, and I ask you, what time is it going to be 18 minutes from now? Well, some of you might say, eight, uh, uh, I can't do it. And you're looking at this clock, and you're like, okay, it's, uh, it's 5.15, uh, 18 minutes. Okay, forget this clock. We're going to just do math. It's easier that way. Let's just add how much? 18 minutes. But make sure you line it up. Okay? So 5 plus 8, 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. The time is 5.33. Now here's when it gets tricky. Let's pretend it's 5.33. And I ask you to add 72 minutes. And you're like, wait a minute. 72 minutes, let's write that down. 72 minutes. Well, here's the thing, you cannot add 72. And I'll tell you why. Because an hour is only how many minutes? 60. So we're already over an hour. What you have to do is figure out how many hours and minutes there are first, then we'll move it over to our clock. Okay. So how many minutes are in an hour? Like 60. So let's subtract 60 from the 72 minutes. That's already one hour. I'm putting one hour right here. 1HR, because we're subtracting 60. And what's left is 2 minus 0 is 2, 7 minus 6 is 1, 12 minutes. So now we're adding 1 hour, 12 minutes. Check this out. I can add the hour right here. Then I can add the 12 minutes right here. This way, when I add it up, 3 plus 2 is 5, 3 plus 1 is 4, 5 plus 1 is 6. We know it'll be 645. Okay? That's all you have to do. You have to subtract the minutes or that equal an hour so that you know how many hours and minutes because you cannot just add 72. That will not work. I'll, sh I'll show you. 533 plus oops, 72, 510, 605. Doesn't match up. Can't do it. That's why you don't add the minutes. So let's pretend we have 645, and I want you to add 63 minutes. First step, we have to find out hour and minutes, because we know it's over what number? 60. Yeah, it's already over 60. So let's subtract 60, which means that's one hour we just took away. What's left? How many minutes? Three. Three, Three minutes. So now I come over here to my time. And I'm going to add my one hour and three minutes. Don't put three here because that's 30. See? It's three minutes. It's in the ones place. So it'll be zero, three. Now let's add that up. Five plus three is eight. Four plus zero is four. Six plus one is seven. The time is 748. Okay. Hopefully this helps.